mine. Not anymore. He chose his path. You chose yours. His reign ends with me. We Let's do it, boys. We are outside the throne room. Complete Godfall? Oh, baby. We're in, boys. We're in. I don't think we're level 30, though, but we can dive on in and see. This should be the final mission. I'm going to hope for some cool cutscenes. Because this whole area looks insanely cool. Like, I, I love how this looks. You're hard to kill, Orin. You have no idea. Oh, I love this whole done. area. I might want to whip this up on YouTube. Because it has that good clickbait title. Let me have a look Completing at Godfall. Final Godfall boss. So if you guys see this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Call me a loser because this gameplay is going to be bad. I already know. I'm a little slightly underleveled, so we're going to probably try to cheese it if we can and do the one bar at a time trap. Orin, this is pointless. We both know how oh, look at how sick he looks. End. It's time for your madness to end, brother. I was never just your brother. I am your god. You're no one, Macros. You would dare to raise your weapon against a god? Holy! Jeez. I think this guy seems like he's gonna be really fast. So it's probably gonna be better for us to go and just use dualies, I think. Jesus, this might be a hard fight, chat. We may have to grind out our gear a little bit. That should have been an easy block. I'm gonna try to get on top of my parries, but... The camera control is actually on this so far in the first two seconds of me doing this. Kind of rough. Good fucking damage. All right, we got the first bar down. Or at least we should be once we get one more right click on in. Nice, got him. All right, that should make it easy for us to reset up the next area. Got a lot of HP back, good. Keep on just spam space bar. You guys can probably even hear it. It's like the Dark Souls strat. Just roll everywhere, hope for the best. So we might end up getting murdered here, which is fine, because we should have our first health bar a lot. We, can always try again. we go again, boys. We go again. As the per usual, every single time you get one bar down, I'm, I feel like that's a success in the fight. Try to just throw our shield across map. Ah, uh, it's a little out of range. What? So my shield is out of range, but your random spear of thunder power is somehow in there. It thinks. Maybe he actually is a god. Who knows? He has bigger range. I can see it. Having boss checkpoints is this easy mode. In all honesty, I actually don't know if that's how the game's meant to be or not. <laughs> to be fully honest. So if I were to upload this on YouTube, which I think I kind of wanted to. I was kind of happy on how many people had a chance to go check out the review and my comments on it. So I felt good about it. Okay, I need that roll so bad. Nice. Okay, cool. So I don't know if I'm like playing the game on easy mode or if like you can always have this. So if anything, YouTube commenters can go roast me or let us know <laughs> in the future. Watch we literally be playing this entire game on easy and I'm just thinking I'm good this entire time. Hey, at least we get the cool cutscenes. Like that's I think what most people are interested in anyway. If they ever watch stuff on YouTube and stuff or on stream like we're doing right now. Dude, watch this guy have a secondary uh, form just to go and make us feel awful. Wouldn't doubt it. One zoomy boy. Spam to the parry there, so. We might be able to go and face tank it. But also, maybe not. We'll have to see. Oh, that was close. That was close. We go again, shall we go again? I hate that. It was literally like one step in front of him. It's okay. It's an intimidation move, Chad. Intimidation move. I always wonder if uh, people on YouTube who watch, like, say, streamer highlights, 
they ever care if people are like, we, we can do it, chat, we can do it. I was almost tempted that man does it all the time. I'm just gonna run just so we don't have to worry about the spamming space bar life. Oh, that's just annoying. I think it doesn't do a lot of damage, but annoying nonetheless. It's getting into my Dark Souls on. Almost there, boys. Almost there. There must be a second phase. I'm still thinking the Sanctum's gonna come up and be the next boss. I, I'm calling it. It's over, Macros. Oh, you're wrong, Morin. I am the future. You are a monster. You've done nothing but fight and destroy. This is the world we live in, Oren. As you wish, brother. At least we can go and steal the throne now. Looks comfy. I'll take it. find out never trust the ominous face that says it could become god rule number one in video games rule number two don't trust your family apparently rule number three save every hp pot you can and then never use it the entire game Is that it? All right, please don't tell me that's it. <laughs> it kind of seems like that's it. We have the victory music. This might be it. I'm was still expecting to fight her. I had no no faith in her whatsoever. What if I like click. $60 game, by the way. It took us, I think, around 12, 13 hours to fully go through it. And we went through most of the content, I think, pretty quick as well. Uh, like I said, I made a good review on all that stuff. So if I put this little ending clip here or whatever, uh, you guys can go check it out on the YouTube video uh, down below. I think my thoughts didn't really change, even though I rambled a lot in that video. But overall, the game's good. Good base. It needs DLC. It needs more content. The content was kind of lacking, and a lot of the content was repetitive. Very good graphics. Uh, I wish they had more abilities too. There's a lot of just like left click, left click, left click, right click, right click, left click, sometimes throw your shield. I'm guessing this is the end because there's nothing going on. <laughs> Unless that we sit here for a few minutes. But uh, yeah, I, I liked the game. It was enjoyable. It was cool. I think I got to see a lot of cool people up on the YouTube cameras as well because it kind of got picked up by either the algorithm or the searching. But uh, I liked the game. It was cool. I enjoyed it. I kind of gave it like a seven. I think now that I fully beat the game, maybe like a 7.5, I enjoyed it. 
Would I have been happy if I paid $60, $70 for it? Not so much. For a press copy, I'm happy. For 30 bucks, I think that would have been the perfect price point. I think they do have plans to do more DLC and stuff in the future, but I think they really need it because there's really only three maps and like maybe nine bosses you had to fight. And even at the very tail in the game, right before this mission, we just refought a same boss that we fought before. But also, I feel like that ending was kind of anticlimactic. I think they kept on building up the story on the weird uh, Sanctum Lady. Realistically, maybe she'll be a DLC. It kind of looked like she turned, she turned into a god, quote unquote. So maybe she could have been evil or whatever. But uh, I'm guessing maybe they're prepping up for future content or a DLC. You have to fight her, which I think would be cool. But I also would have just liked it in the normal game because then it would have provided maybe another level or a secondary boss. I'm not a big fan of games that hold content out because you either have to buy it uh, and or you just kind of move on from that game at that point, like six months or a year later. You just don't care. It's like the Gears of War 5 syndrome for me. They came at a big cutoff and I'm, I never I never looked back. I don't know if I had a DLC. I don't know if I had anything else. But uh, yeah, I would say goodish game. I enjoyed my time playing it. I still think the price point should have been lower. There's a lot of critiques we could have put in the game to add it more lively, add more stuff in the game, add more areas, add more bosses, make it more multiplayer friendly. A lot of that stuff would make the game better. A few optimization stuff, a few more things in the, um, like a few different weapons, weapon variety would be nice. A little bit more of a skill tree would be cool. There's a lot of little mini things. And I think if they ever did do a second game or a DLC, they could probably make it so much better. But this was really just kind of a basic spam left click, dodge sometimes, parry sometimes game. I only parried like five times the entire game. It was fun. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Good game. I enjoyed it. Cool last mission. I think it must be the end of the game. Uh, I think you can actually replay it and stuff. That's kind of the point of the game, kind of like a Hades and stuff. But overall, not bad. I did like it. Fun to stream, fun to play. Uh, if you guys put this on YouTube, I guess I might as well put it on YouTube. Kind of show the final video and my final thoughts on the game. I thought it was cool. Uh, I got a chance to meet a few cool new uh, YouTube subscribers and some commentators. So if you guys made it through this entire video, I guess this is also on stream. If you guys ever want to check out the stream, it's down below in the description. Uh, also, if this is on YouTube, <laughs> I guess leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll probably throw in some more stuff with the new PS5 thing. So hope you guys all enjoy the content and all that cool stuff. Good game. Overall, could have been better. But I enjoyed my playthrough.